Here we have the flight computer connected to a 9 volt battery with two RC servo motors. Here is the power switch, the arm button, the program button, and the G switch. Uh, in normal mode, we simply turn the flight computer on and the two servos are set to their default positions. The rocket now is ready to be fired, but before we do that, we need to arm the flight computer. So we press the arm button and the rocket now waits until launch. As soon as it detects the launch, which we simulate by shorting out the G-switch, the rocket's on its way up and the drive parachute is deployed followed by the main parachute. The rocket is now descending and after a preset amount of time the lost sound alarm will sound. We have now located the rocket and we simply turn it off. Now I'm going to show you how to set the flight computer. Press the arm button and turn the power on. It is now designated by the S and each parameter value can now be set. The parameter is in, uh, designated by the decimal point and its value does not have a decimal point. So here we have parameter 0 is set to 0. We would like to change parameter 4 to the value of 7. So we advance the parameters using the arm button. Here we have parameter 4 and its value is 7. We would like to change it to perhaps uh, 3. So we advance it with the program button. And now parameters 4 is set to 3. When you're done configuring all of the parameter values, simply turn it off. I will now show you how to reset the computer back to its default settings. Simply hold the arm and program buttons at the same time and turn it on. It is now in factory reset mode and it asks you to reconfirm. Press the arm button once again and the flight computer has been reset. Turn it off when you're finished. Here we have an FTC rocket uh, with version 1.6 of the flight computer, servo motor, altimeter and batteries back here. The parachute is on top. We will turn the flight computer on. It initializes. Now the rocket is ready for takeoff, so we arm it. Rocket's ready to take off. When we launch it, sometime later, the parachute falls off. Here we have version 1.6 set up for staging a two-stage rocket. Here we have a pressure switch. Around the back is the battery and servo motor. And here is the staging mechanism. So we'll turn the computer on. And it initializes. Now normally we would then pressurize the rocket, which makes the pressure switch rise. And then we arm the rocket. So now the rocket's ready for takeoff. We launch it and slowly the pressure drops uh, inside the booster and as it drops it activates the release and the computer stages the next stage. 